Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to Shapes and select the oval shape. Then I'll hold down Shift while clicking and dragging to draw a circle. Then go to Animations and give this a wheel animation. Then change the duration to 5 seconds. And now it will take 5 seconds for the circle to appear. And you can also do this with other shapes. So if I go to Insert and Shapes and then select the rectangle shape, I'll click and drag to draw a long, thin rectangle. And then go to Animations and this time give it a Wipe animation. Then go to Effect Options and change the direction to From Left. Then change the duration to 5 seconds. And now the rectangle will take 5 seconds to appear. You can also do the opposite of this. So in addition to the entrance wheel animation, there is also an exit wheel animation. And there is also an exit wipe animation. And in this case, I would change the direction to from right and then the duration to five seconds. And then it will take five seconds for the rectangle to disappear. Now you can make this animation look a little bit nicer by creating two shapes and stacking them on top of each other. So I'll go to Home and Shapes and then select the rectangle shape again and click and drag and draw another long thin rectangle. Then this time I'll change the shape fill to orange and the shape outline to no outline. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape and then change the shape fill here to no fill and the shape outline to black. And then change the weight to make it a little bit thicker. Then I'll line these two shapes up on top of each other. And then make sure to click on the orange rectangle underneath as that's the one we want to add the animation to. And then go back to animations and give this a wipe animation. Then change the direction to from left and change the duration to 5 seconds. And this time it will look a little bit more like a loading bar which is being filled up. Then you can create a similar effect with the circle. So I'll go to Home and Shapes and select the Oval tool again and then hold down Shift and click and drag to draw another circle. Then this time I'll change the shape fill to a lighter orange and the shape outline to black and then increase the weight a little bit. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape and change the shape fill of this circle to a darker orange. Then line these two circles up on top of each other and go to the animations pane and give this a wheel animation. And then change the duration to five seconds. Now in addition to having this animation play as part of the animation sequence, you can also give it a trigger where you click on one of the shapes in the slide. In my case, I need to select Oval 7 and that is because Oval 3 is the blue circle here and then Oval 8 is the darker orange circle, but that won't appear until after the animation has played. So I have to choose Oval 7, which is the lighter orange circle underneath. Then if I open up the slideshow, you can see the lighter orange circle here. And when I hover my mouse over it, it changes into a hand. And then I can click on this and the darker orange circle will appear. Then you can also include a text box as part of the animation sequence. So I'll go to insert and select the text box and click and drag over the middle of the circle. And then type out a message. And then select this and increase the font size and put it in the middle. 
And then while the text box is selected, go to animations and I'll just give this an appear animation. Then I can take this text box animation and drag it to the bottom and then change the start to after previous. And then the text box will appear after the orange circle. Then I'll right click and go to effect options and give this a sound effect. So there are multiple different sound effects to choose from and you can also use other sound to insert your own audio file. But I am going to choose the chime sound effect and OK. And then when I play from here, the orange circle will appear. And then the text box appears and the sound is played telling you that your time is up. Now, if you want to change the length of the animation, up here you can change it to a maximum of 59 seconds. But if you want any longer than that, you need to right click and go to timing and then change the duration here. So for example, I will change it to 120 seconds and OK. And then if I go back to timing, you'll see this is now changed to be two minutes. So you can also change the duration in the minutes and seconds format. So if I try and put 11 minutes in here, it won't let me do that. Using this method, the maximum amount of time that you can have is 10 minutes. If you want it to be any longer than that, then I suggest you pull out the animation pane and then go down here to seconds and then zoom out and zoom out multiple times until you see the end of the green bar at the top. Then hover your mouse over the end of the green bar until you get the two black vertical lines with the two black arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then you can click and drag to make the animation last longer and you can make this last as long as you want. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a countdown timer in PowerPoint and that is everything.